Today, we're going to be talking about Will Smith versus the Oscar punishment. My name is Hakeem Brown, and this is Pop City Culture. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... Welcome to the most listened to international podcast around the world. Hakeem and Reggie Brown are two young African-American boys speaking the truth. This is Pop City Culture. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Reggie Brown, the podcast. (laughs) And that's right. Today, man, we're going to be talking about Will Smith, and he's versing versus the Oscar punishment, you know, for that big old smackdown that happened. Oh my goodness, that was so, I never seen nothing like that in my life. So, we're gonna get on with the show, and I'm gonna pass the ton off to my brother, Hakeem Brown. Thank you very much, there, Reggie. And uh, that's right, we're gonna be talking about um, Will Smith, you know, the Oscars. Already sent the punishment for Will Smith. Show sure did. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that and how he reacted uh-huh. to it and all that good stuff. That's true. Or or we gonna see what else <laughs> happened. <laughs> That's right. So, you know, just for a recap, if everybody's been living under a rock, not a Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. So, it, you know, it's unfortunate what happened. You know, Will Smith. Yep. Mm-hmm. He got a um, he got an Oscar for his movie. Where he portrayed Venus's and Serena Williams' father. I think the movie was King Richard. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was an awesome movie. Reggie, what did you think about the movie? I thought that movie was off the hook. I mean, Will Smith did a great job, and he portrayed Mr. Williams in a dignified and awesome way. I'd see it again, you so know. So, Reggie, would you go? What, what? Would you say that's a movie that what? you would go see again? Because... I you know I know that you don't like to see movies two and three times. I I really don't. I don't. You know. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Well, would you see this movie again? I would definitely see this movie again. Yes, and again and why? again. You know. Why, why would you see this movie again? Because Will Smith defended his uh, wife. Reggie, you don't <laughs> see a movie just because <laughs> what? you know you one of your most favorite actors in the world, Will Smith, uh, cold cocked a guy in the face because he made a joke about. By what? His wife. Well, you know what? I do. Okay, whatever, <laughs> Reggie. Well, anyways. Anyways, move on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you guys. It, you know, it is unfortunate. It was an unfortunate event at the Oscars. Chris Rock, who is a black African-American comedian. Okay, my brother. You said it this time, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, he's almost 60 years old, and he told a joke yeah, about did. Jada Pinkett Smith, mm-hmm. and he said... Uh, G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Oh, and no. I, I personally, I didn't think it was a bad joke. A lot of people didn't think it was a ba- bad joke. But Will Smith got up on stage and slapped Chris Rock in the face. Why, Reggie? Because he was defending his wife. Why, Reggie? <laughs> because he was defending his wife. You know what I'm saying? Why, Reggie? I said he was defending his wife. <laughs> Man, what's wrong with so, you? So, anyways, <laughs> um, it, it didn't go down good. You know, Chris Rock had enough class to finish the show. It was because of him the show went on smoothly. Um, he, afterwards, they want to press charges, but, and Chris Rock said, no, I'm not pressing charges. No, that's not. Yo, Mick, because Chris, so, look, Chris Rock knew he shouldn't have made the joke. Yo, you know? Afterwards, Will Smith uh, got his Oscar award. And this is the thing. 90% of the people in the audience clapped and praised him. Why, Reggie? Because they had the respect and knew that Will Smith was defending his wife. But Reggie, That's you know, why. there were some people who didn't stand up. So? And those people were disgusted that Will Smith I don't care. acted so violently. In fact, um, who is, who's that guy? Um, oh, my God. I, I'm getting a brain freeze here. Um, the guy who plays... Uh, what? What? In the Avengers, the black guy. Samuel Jackson. Oh, what it, is that? Oh, my it, God. It, what is that guy? Listen, the Samuel Jackson. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Are you oh not listening God, to me? I said uh, Samuel Jackson. Wait a minute. Um, hey, hello, hello, hello. Reggie, you, shut up. You shut up, man. Um, I said Samuel Jackson. Samuel Samuel L. Jackson. Jeez, that's what I said, man. <laughs> Reggie, oh please. Please, Reggie. Please, what? Please, man, Reggie, give me a break. You're here. the one who don't listen. So, um, so let me tell you what happened. 
Samuel Jackson. I gotta hear this. He, uh... What? He ended up... What, what? And, and you can see him. He, he didn't clap when Will Smith got his award. And I think because he was pretty upset. He, he made him look... He, in my opinion, he made a lot of black people in America who want to succeed and who want to be represented and treated better than how they feel they're being treated in Hollywood. You know, he took a stand. You know, he didn't take a knee. He took a stand. Boy, what, is that the new word now? <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, so so do you think, Reggie, do you think um, actors will start taking a knee now in honor of Will Smith because he stood up for his woman? Absolutely, 100%. Why, Reggie? Because he stood up for his wife. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> Anyways, Reggie. Um, what, 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 what? You know, I, you know, like I said before in our other podcast, I, I was pretty upset that a lot of the other actors did not run to Chris Rock's aid because he was a victim. He was he was physically assaulted and battered. Man, you want some cheese to go with that wine? Will Smith, who in a past movie played Muhammad Ali, so he, he knows how to punch, you know, but this just was an open hand slap. And what is an open hand slap, Reggie? An open hand slap is the most... Vicious insult you can give a black Negro African American. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Reggie, it is. And uh, Reggie, I'm glad you're listening to what I have to say. You're actually learning something. I mean, I'm always listening, and I'm always learning. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, get on with it. Um, you know what? Will Smith is worth 350 million dollars. Say what? And Jada Smith is worth 50. So I guess the next day, Jim Carrey, who I love as an actor, he you know he's 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 an actor and a comedian. But I you know, I saw him in a movie. Uh, it was called The Truman Show, but you probably ain't even gonna say I I said it. A, a, a so dramatic movie. Yeah, actually, he's actually done a bunch of dramatic movies. And the movies that I've seen him in, he he he's awesome. He's just a great actor. You know, he throws everything out there. So sounds like you love this guy like Chris Rock, man. He said that Will Smith should have been. Should have been arrested. Man, the dude sounds like a hater. Because that, you know, that was a violent thing that he did. And I agree. And Reggie, do you agree? Heck no. Yeah, I know. Why, Why, Reggie? I know you want to say it again. <laughs> because why? Because he was defending his wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you know, D- Will Smith, after the Oscars, he put out a press release. And I'm going to read it to you. I got to hear this. Uh, he Because... He put out the press relief, I, I think, because his his press agent said, "Listen, Will, you screwed up. You gotta um, you gotta do some damage control." So this is what this is this is what he wrote: "Violence in all of its form is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are a part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear, and I reacted emotionally." I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I am embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. I would also like to apologize to the Academy and the producers of the show, all of the attendees and everyone watching around the world. I would like to apologize to the Williams family and my King Richard family. I deeply regret that my behavior has stained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for all of us. I am a work in progress. Sincerely, Will. What do you think about that, Um, Reggie? Personally, I would have said, I don't apologize. You shouldn't have talked crap about my wife. Okay, okay, (laughs) Reggie, you got So (laughs) a lot of people said, you know, so so what? He, he, He resigned. What does that mean? He knows he's going to get reprimanded because the Academy are going to come down with some harsh punishments. So he resigned, you know, and this is what the the Academy had to say, because, you know, three days ago, they they released what they were going to do. And this is what they said. You want to hear it, Reggie? That would be a big yes. Reggie, do you want to hear it? Yes, I want to hear it. Reggie, do you want to hear will it? will you just read it? Man, <laughs> okay, it's Reggie. ridiculous. It says, during our telecast, we did not adequately address the situation in the room. For this, we are sorry. This was an opportunity for us to send an example for our guests, viewers, and our Academy family around the world as we fell short, unprepared for this unprecedented event. 
Today, the Board of Governors convened a meeting to discuss how best to respond to Will Smith's actions at the Oscars, in addition to accepting his resignation. The board has decided for a period of 10 years from April 8th, 2022, Mr. Smith shall not be permitted to attend any Academy events or programs in person or virtually, including but not limited to the Academy Awards. Um, we want to express our deep gratitude to Mr. Rock, who maintained his composure under extraordinary circumstances. The Academy Statements continues, we also want to thank our host nominees, presenters, and winners for their poise and grace during our telecast. This action we have taken today in response to Will Smith's behavior is a step towards a larger goal of protecting the safety of our performers and guests and restoring trust in the Academy. The statement concluded, we also hope this can begin a time of healing and restoration for all involved and impacted. Will Smith said that he accepted this punishment. What say you, my brother? I mean, there really ain't much to say. I mean, if the Academy says that's what they're going to do, that's what they're going to do. He got to bye bye, right? You know? Yes, Reggie. He, I, I guess from what I understand, he can still be nominated for an Oscar. So, so will he? That's the whole thing. Will they say, you know, you did an awesome job in this? We're going to nominate you. And if you win, you just can't be here to accept it. So I, I guess that's the shaky thing. But, you know, a lot of people disagree with what's going on. Um, okay, I got to hear what the haters all got to say about this. They think it should have been harsher. Like what, with slave whips or something? Or, you know, because they think, you know, that's like physical assault. Well, listen, they didn't walk in Will Smith's shoes, you know? But but Reggie, listen. Listen, Reggie. I'm listening. What? Okay. What? 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 Do you think they should have taken his Oscar away? Absolutely not. Yeah, and, you know, we both agree on that. Yep. Because, you know, Roman Polanski, mm -hmm. um, he never got his Oscar taken away. Reach it, my brother. And I believe Weinstein. No, he didn't, he didn't yeah, he, get his taken away. He wasn't a good away. guy. No, it wasn't. And he never got his Oscar taken away. Yeah, he kept his. But what? the bottom line is, you know, the Oscars, I guess they can do a lot more, and people are upset. Dude, they're a bunch of haters. Because in that moment, what? What? Will Smith, a lot of in the black community, they're saying he disgraced every black person in the world. And all you could see was a stereotype. And and I think we talked about that before. Yeah, we did. And we agreed to disagree, right? Well, listen, you know, black people don't want to be seen as out of control black people who are just animalistic, you know, who just can't control themselves. I mean, that you know, there, there's a lot of stereotypes out there, you know. True that. Yeah. You know, and when he did that. You know, it, it almost reinforced stereotypes if somebody wants to believe in those stereotypes. What can you name me a few? Like what? Like well, what? stereotypes like black people act like like monkeys. Oh, uh, man. Black people are animals, you know. Nah, you know, dad, that, you know, dad used to tell us yeah, yeah. that his grand no um, that his his grandfather said when he was in the military, people in France thought black people had tails like an animal. Hey, come on. You know, people say, oh, I guess maybe they do have tails, you know, because they're acting like animals. Man, they stupid like animals believe something like that. <laughs> yeah. Reggie, but this what? is the thing. You don't you don't want to reinforce any any kind of thinking like that. Because that, that kind of thinking is just so destructive. You know, bottom line is Chris was a victim. Whether you believe it or not. Well, like I told you, I said Chris should not have made a joke like that. And he should have known better. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. What? I, I got to hear what? what? Like I said, Chris did not know about Jada Pinkett's condition. He didn't know her hair was falling out. He didn't know she had a medical condition. Well, he should have, right? And I mean, isn't that what I said before? Reggie, everybody can't know everybody's everybody's medical thing because everybody doesn't watch that stuff. And you know, in, in, in the last episode, did you not agree with me when I said, did you know about her condition? And what did you say? I said I did not know about her condition. Yeah, so I mean, you know, you didn't know. I didn't know. My dad didn't know. My grandmother didn't know. We got neighbors here. They didn't know. Nobody knew about this stuff. We just thought she shaved her head because maybe she was doing a movie or something. Because a lot of, you know, a lot of actors in Hollywood, their their physical appearance carries over when they do get awards because they're in the middle of a of, of, of a movie shoot or something. You know, I guess. I suppose. I suppose. You know, I heard during the telecast one of the one of the female um, hosts made a joke about. Will Smith's open marriage and he didn't get upset with that or maybe Chris Rock was was a good 
good uh, punching bag. And he said, you know what, I'll just take it out on him or something. But nobody knows, you know, like, like Jim Carrey said, no, nobody knows what's going on in his head. And I guess Gail King, when she was interviewing uh, Jim Carrey, Gail Smith said, yeah, well, this escalated. And, and good, good for Jim Carrey when he said, hey, this, isn't, this didn't escalate. This was out of nowhere. This is something inside him. And it's true. I mean, you can't sit there and make excuses for somebody's bad behavior like that. I mean, Will Smith has to take accountability for Will Smith. Wouldn't you say, Reggie? Listen, it sounds to me like Jim Carrey might be a hater. Maybe he's got some beef going on with Will Smith because Will Smith is making the movies and stuff. You know? Reggie, um... What else you got? Come on, lay it on me. I'm going to tell you. You go on and tell me. <laughs> this, this is not good. And I'm going to tell you why. Because what happens if somebody tells a joke somewhere else, an, another comedian? This might set a precedent where people can say, you know what? I don't like what that person said. So I'm going to go up on stage and I'm going to... I'm going to Will Smith slap that person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, or, Will Smith. Or, Smil- or Smith slap. Smith, slap. Smith, Smith slap? <laughs> what, no. what, what are we going to call it? Will slap. Will slap sounds the, funny. The Will slap? <laughs> the Will slap We're going to Will slap that person. <laughs> yeah, well, don't, don't Will slap me. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about my as though. Man, shut up. You ain't, you, what? You, what? Ain't even, you ain't even married. Man, as there's my woman to tell that. As Adoria's got a boyfriend. Man, Why you keep <laughs> messing with her, man? And she's way older than you. She, she's... she's Man, She's what? out of college now. She's got a master's. Wait, you're just 11 years old, man. Man, you're just a hater. <laughs> <laughs> you know okay. Right. Okay. A- anyway. Anyways. Mm. A- anyways. Move on. Um, Move on. <laughs> I just want to say that, you know, we, we both have different views on this. And like I said, I, I think the Oscars could have done a whole lot worse. And I think they, they should have. Well, like I say, I agree to disagree. Okay. Well, that's the thing. I'm not in the Oscars, so I don't know what a severe penalty is. I mean, but is this a real severe penalty? He already resigned from the Oscars. Okay. Um, and he can't accept any awards for... Um, and he can't personally or virtually accept any awards for the next 20 years. But he can still get an Oscar. Yes, he can. I mean, if he does a good movie, it's based on his work, right? Yeah, I'm not saying he shouldn't be able to work. Okay? Good, good. But I, I, I am saying, you know, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying either. Uh, I, I just, you know, this is so <laughs> unprecedented and nobody's ever seen anything like this. Never. All I got to do is say is one thing. And you know what that is, Reggie? It is time for the words of wisdom. <laughs> okay. Take it away, my brother. It is a sad day for everyone who watches and looks up to actors who they aspire or want to be, like Will Smith was, to many of the black people in the community. I mean, we look up to black people in the community because they actually made it. He was one or someone we could look up to as the Negro who made it in Hollywood. But I guess it's a wake-up call. Should we look up to people in Hollywood or should we look elsewhere? I mean, what is a role model? Do you know? I would say someone you can admire and look up to, like a doctor, a teacher, a policeman, a military person, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father. This is a wake-up call to everybody who looks up to people in Hollywood. They are just regular people, just like us. They're regular people who get paid a whole lot of money, and they get paid to entertain us. Well, we are entertained and shocked at the last 2022 Oscars. We never thought we would ever see anything like that. A physical assault and battery on stage by someone we looked up to and thought was more. I pray for Will Smith and his family. And as for Chris Rock, he's a role model. He's someone we should say, what a great person and someone we should look up to. I mean, when you are assaulted and humiliated in front of the whole world, he did something that most people probably didn't have or wouldn't have the strength to. He turned the other cheek. He truly is a real winner and a real role model and a winner of everyone's respect in the world. And right now, Chris Rock, you are my hero and you are my role model. And those are my words of wisdom. I want to thank you for your words of wisdom there, my dear brother. 
And that brings us to the end of our show where I'm going to pass the baton off to you again. Here you go. Thank you for joining us here on Pop City Culture. And thank you for making us one of the most listened to podcasts around the world. Our success is your success. Listen, everybody. You can download our podcasts and enjoy them any time of the day, morning, noon, or night. I'll see you next time here on Pop City Culture, where we give you three cups of sunshine and what, Reggie? A pinch of attitude. (laughs) That's right. And as always, be kind and affectionate to one another. Remember whose you are. Peace. Man, that's something. People want Will Smith to what? Give, Give his first born up or something? Man, how much pain can you cost somebody? Man, whatever. He was defending his wife. I'm going to keep saying it and saying it again. I don't care what my brother says. All right. See y'all later. 